YouTube. Hey YouTube, uh, Scarab 518 here. Just wanted to bring you um, a little bit of video about the two guns I carry as my concealed carry guns. Um, we have the Ruger LCR 357. Um, this gun I actually bought about a month ago and actually had to send it back to the factory. Um, uh, just got this one back. Um, about a week ago um, if you notice it has the high-vis uh, sight up here um, and I have a different set of grips on it um, these are the new Ruger um, Hogue boot grips um, they sent them to me for the factory um, the reason why I had to send it back was because the uh, one of the cylinders didn't line up with the barrel and it was splitting the jacket of the ammo. Um, I'm in Colorado and the CEO of Ruger was at a local gun store here so I did take it to him and uh, showed him the problem. Um, he sent for the gun and actually got it back, um, sent it back to the factory and the CEO of the company and the um, vice president of the company um, actually sent me a whole new gun so we got this one back and with that they sent me the boot grips for my inconvenience um, so yeah it is unloaded as you can see both of them are um, my Glock also um, but yeah this gun is awesome um, I shoot both 38s and 357s as you can see these are 357 Federal Hydroshocks um, these are my personal defense carry bullets and that's what I carry in it um, but I also carry a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, I carry 38 Special Plus P semi-jacketed made by Remington. I also carry, um, let's see here, Winchester wad cutters, and I carry those, and I also carry FMJs um, for it. Um, I also carry uh, this in a dishonest uh, inside the waistband holster, leather. Um, just an awesome, awesome gun. I really, really love it. Um, it does hurt more when you fire 357s out of this because of the smaller boot grip from Hogue but it is still manageable um, when I did get it and ask for the boot grips um, they actually had to ask the engineers if it was okay to put this grip on there and they said yeah so um, but that is my number one carry gun um, the second gun I have is a Glock 26 um, this is my Glock 26 with the desert tan handles I don't know if you can see that um, it is the desert tan handles um, this one is also unloaded as you can see there's no mag in there uh, no bullet in the chamber um, so we'll go ahead and close that one um, but yeah this is my Glock 26 as you can see I have talon grip um, little grippy tape uh, inserts for the grip and also up here on the front of the slide um, really not much done to this one except for you know the little plug back here so you don't get stuff in there easier to clean um, this gun uh, when I bought it everybody said it was way too small um, this gun is super accurate um, I can hit you know bullseyes up to you know 50 yards with this and it is absolutely amazing um, like I said I do have many different magazines for this you can put you know all the Glock nine millimeter mags do fit in this so I do put you know I have some 12 rounders some 10 rounders and I have a 15 round mag that I use in this um, once again a dishonest holster uh, inside the waistband um, specifically made for this type of gun got it at the local gun store awesome awesome holster super comfortable love them both um, very well made and uh, it uh, very comfortable very lo love this love this holster um, like I said I do carry a couple different mags these are the standard 10 round mags from Glock that came with the gun um, if you notice I have hollow points in here um, these ones are custom rounds by Hornady custom defense rounds um, pretty expensive haven't really shot a whole bunch of these um, but that's what I carry as my defensive rounds um, and I do have my other 
uh, Glock magazines. This is a Glock 10 plus 2. Um, holds 12 rounds. I only put 11 in here because of the way the spring is. Um, really don't like to put 12 because it rattles a little bit. So I just go ahead and put 11 and 1 in the chamber um, when I do carry this. Um, like I said, both guns are awesome. This one is insanely accurate as well. Um, you know, it is a little heavier than the normal LCR. Um, but I like it a lot. It has the upgraded steel cylinder, the upgraded steel barrel, as you can see. Um, and all around, just an amazing, amazing gun. Let's see if I can get that Ruger symbol from the Hogue there. Awesome, awesome gun. Love this gun. Love to carry it. Um, you know, and, you know, since we're doing EDC stuff, I'll show you what I carry also with them. Um, I do carry a couple of speed loaders with my Ruger. As you can see I have wad cutters in here now but I do carry one of those and I also carry I am a real big fan of Microtech knives so I do have a Microtech Scarab double edged out the front um, ha uh, one side serrated one side straight edge awesome off a knife um, this knife I got from my girlfriend for Christmas last year so she is awesome I buy her coach purses and stuff and she buys me knives so awesome there I also carry also part of my EDC is a Protec runt has a fingerprint on it there um, with a little I don't know lanyard ball on the end so I can grip it awesome knife I got a really good deal on this knife um, I paid less than 100 bucks from it from uh, one of the ladies that owns a local knife store she always gives me good deals so I got that as well and I carry my other automatic. Oh, you can see all of them are automatics. Um, my Piranha, this one's dirty because I use it a lot. Um, my Piranha uh, Fingerling in a purple handle. So that is what I carry as my EDC, um, as you can see. I carry two Glocks with my mag. I don't carry both guns at the same time. Um, it's just either one or the other, depending on where I'm going situation-wise. But um, that is what I do carry. Um, and you say what about a cell phone while well, I'm doing my video here is on my cell phone it's one of the new um, Samsung Galaxy S epic um, awesome phone I mean I can't say enough about this phone it is insanely awesome so um, that is my EDC I probably will do more videos um, on I have a few more guns and I have a lot of knives um, a lot of Microtech a lot of Spyderco knives which are from Colorado where I'm from and I must have maybe 60 different Spyderco knives so I will probably do more videos I just wanted to do you know a little bit of an update you know on you know the guns that I carry um, you can see the iViz site awesome awesome site um, and yeah thanks for watching if you have any questions leave comments um and yeah that's my edc